welcome back. It is time for Trending Tuesday, of course, sponsored by our frown, friends over at Elm City Market. That's right. We headed there this morning to pick up some ingredients, and today we are making a shrimp ceviche. And this is a little, you know, more than what we typically do. There yes. are more steps to the process, but for TV time, of course, we are going to just... Keep it basic. Exactly. It smells delicious, though. They pre-made it for us. It's very fresh. It smells delicious. And this is what you'll need. Here are the ingredients. You'll need one pound of raw shrimp. You'll need fresh lime juice. You'll need lemon juice. That has to be fresh as well. Orange juice, believe it or not. I didn't know I that didn't know is that one. an ingredient to ceviche. And one large red onion. On top of that, you'll need jalapenos, three ripe tomatoes, and a large avocado. So... All Let's right. get going. Cilantro get as well. Cilantro, we know that there are some of you out there who do not like cilantro. Yeah, so we were course, talking about this. Yeah, people have harsh reactions. I like cilantro, but, you know, you could just add that if you please. Love it or You don't it. have to. Okay, we're going to bring up the directions as well because we did skip a few steps. Obviously, we cooled the shrimp already and cooked it, but we mm -hmm. want to bring up... We do not have the directions That's for okay. you, but I'll read them for you. But what we Live did, TV. what we did first is we did cook the shrimp. Yep. We let it cool. That's really important. You boil it, and yep. then you have to put it immediately into ice water to yes. let that cool. Yes. So after that, you place it in a bowl. Obviously, it's already chopped up, and then we want to add our juices. Yes. And the first being one full cup lemon of fresh lime. Oh, lime. lime. One lime cup juice. of lime juice. So we'll add that over the shrimp here. Perfect. And you're right, we have lemon juice and that only calls for a half a cup. So obviously you can squeeze the lemons yourself. That's difficult. Natasha and I, we always like to go for the easier easier way around things. We do. At least in the kitchen. We like to say it's just because we're keeping it under our time limits for you, but we would probably do this anyway. 1,000%. I'm not squeezing any limes. Just I'll do the orange the juice. juice for us as well. So it's just two tablespoons of orange juice. Which, yeah, we didn't know that this was in there. but No, but it makes sense, I guess. Some nice flavor. Yes. So okay. after we add all of the juices, you actually have so to add up. this back into the fridge. And you want it covered. This way it marinates. And the recipe yeah. says you should let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes to or an hour. even up to an hour. That way it really marinates and none of the other ingredients get soggy or mushy. Soggy, which is good when you, because a lot of people use this as a dip. That's why we have yeah. some chips here. Yep. Um, so you obviously don't want these ingredients to get too soggy. So let's start putting all of this in. Here is our onion. This is one large red onion. This is diced up. So we're going to put this right and in. And we love here. Elm City because they chopped it all up for us. And they can yes. do that for you as well, which is nice. You know, I know we you're always say you're in a rush. We understand. I stress every day about what I'm going to make for dinner. Me too. I hate dinner duty. Mm -hmm. So when things can be done... Makes life a lot easier. So oh, there yeah. goes the full red onion. All right, we have jalapeno. If you're into spice, you can obviously add this in. If you're not, that's okay. You could leave it out. This is two full jalapenos for you. Again, thinly chopped up here. I'll go ahead and add the two tomatoes chopped up as well. Okay, now a full avocado. I love this. They finally <laughs> cut this up for us, so I have the duty of scooping it out. Isn't that the worst part of an avocado? Yes is getting it out of there. I don't know about you too, but I have a difficult time when at the grocery store seeing if they are ripe. Are I they just ready to go or not? And if my finger goes makes a little bit of a dent, I'm like, "All right, fine." I heard you could squeeze uh, you could freeze avocados oh. and they can last longer, so. All right, so that's Something one half. All right, so one full. We have an audience, by the way. We have all these eyes grilling us. They must be so impressed by at the end of the show. <laughs> I know. Are you guys impressed? Yes. Did you hear them at home? Probably not. Not that impressed, I guess. That's okay. All right. Mix all right. that all together. And then you have to add, what, the cilantro next? Yes, we have a little bit of cilantro. We're choosing to use the cilantro. We like it here on the buzz. But that is up there to you. you. Mix, mix it that up. all in right there. Smells delicious. Perfect okay. for a nice summer day. And, of course, salt and pepper to taste, as we always say. You can get some chips over at Elm City Market. Make a taco. Make a taco. Lots of ways to enjoy Put this. Put it on some chips. Yes. Lots of options. Very summery. I'm getting in the mood for And like it's a summer-like day. Yes. We know we're not into the summer season just yet, but it definitely feels like that out there. Yes. And we'll have this up on our website, WTNH.com. We hope you try to make it, and uh, we'll be right back. Yes. 